Alrighty, good afternoon Arkansas, this is Assistant Chief Forecaster came back here once again. I'm here to give you guys a video blog talking about the potential of severe weather as we get towards your middle part of next week here. So first and foremost, as always, give us a like and share on this video guys. It really helps us out in terms of the page growth and it helps get the word out in terms of severe weather, etc. Also, keep in mind that this is not a live video live stream this is like a pre-recorded live stream so just kind of keep that in mind however we still will be able to answer your questions um, in the comments here guys so as we mentioned before we've been talking about the last couple of days uh, there, the potential of severe weather looks to be increasing as we get towards the middle part of next week here uh, storm prediction center has highlighted eastern arkansas down into southwestern arkansas for the potential of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms as we get towards wednesday and also depending on timing and depending on how much instability we can have to work with, a upgrade to an enhanced risk could be possible uh, with the next, I would say, the next update or two from the Storm Prediction Center here. So let's kind of keep that in mind. So before, the exact magnitude and the exact locations of severe weather right now, still a little bit uncertain, but it's becoming a little bit more clear, enough clear to uh, issue the slight risk for much of eastern Arkansas down into central and down into southern Arkansas here. And this does include uh, the Metro and it does include Memphis as well here. So we're going to talk about guidance here in just a second here, guys. Um, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and talk about it real quickly. So this is the GFS real fast. And I want to talk to you guys about the 12Z because right now we've gone from the afternoon timing, what looked like an afternoon timing on Wednesday to Wednesday morning now if you look at the channel GFS. Now, something to keep in mind that the system is not sampled yet. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of changes with computer model guidance, going to be a lot of changes with timing, etc. So just kind of keep that in mind for Wednesday here. So something that we're just going to keep an eye on over the next uh, couple of days here. So you can see this is Tuesday afternoon here. Not much going on locally, okay? You got a few, maybe a few scattered showers across eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas, but nothing much is going on here. But look what happens by the time we get towards Wednesday afternoon, uh, Tuesday afternoon, excuse me, and Tuesday evening. Some showers and even some thunderstorms start getting going across Oklahoma, down into Texas here. This is where that day five is over here across Texas here. And it's just going to start pushing eastward as we get towards late Tuesday night and into the early morning hours of your Wednesday. And as I said before, DFS is known to speed things up. It's a progressive model. So keep that in mind, okay? It's gone from being Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday morning. So there's going to be a lot of changes with computer model guidance over the next couple of days. So just kind of keep that in mind here. But as you can see, this is what happens with the GFS. There's a line of storms that develops from eastern Oklahoma down into Texas up into Kansas. And this is going to push due east at this point. So just looking at GFS right now, I would think this is going to be primarily more of a damaging wind threat, maybe a low end tornado threat. And then this pushes through, and then you can see by the time we get towards Wednesday afternoon, it's in eastern Arkansas. That's where your threat is for the potential of seeing severe weather. And some of that, as I said before, could be damaging winds, possibly a few tornadoes here, because your system is going to go negative as it moves into later today on Wednesday, and then it goes east of the state by that point, by the time we get towards Wednesday afternoon and into the Wednesday evening here. So kind of similar to the last event, it's just a little bit more instability to kind of work with as we get towards Wednesday here. Just something that we're going to keep a close eye on. But as I said before, the GFS is known to speed things up. So just something that we're going to keep a very close eye on here. And also, not only that, but also the rainfall here. Now, this rainfall potential doesn't look nowhere near as bad as the one we just got through dealing with uh, that produced the, the widespread four to six inches of rainfall. But still, in some areas north of Little Rock, you can't take that much rainfall right now because you're not in a drought. You're actually in a surplus. So we're talking a generalized half an inch, I wish, to two inches of rain. However... Just kind of keep that in mind here. This thing starts to slow down. We may have a little bit more flooding issues across the board here. Southern Arkansas, you're still in the drought for now, but with the next drought update, we should have a reduction in the drought, giving you guys saw a lot of rainfall down there in Southern Arkansas. So that's good news for them. However, as I said before, you don't want too much rainfall at once. That's what could lead to some flash flooding issues here. So just kind of something to keep in mind here as we get towards next week here. Now, let's jump over to the, the Euro real quickly. And something I want to show you with the Euro. This is the what's called the instability here. As you can see, not much going on on Tuesday here. And with the one thing that we're kind of uncertain about right now in terms of the threat on Wednesday is the instability. Now, the number one thing I want to stress to you guys is the instability may be lacking, but your wind shear will not. Okay, You will definitely have a good amount of wind shear to work with as we get towards 
that Wednesday time frame here, okay? So let's talk about that real quick. All right, we're going to go over to your 500 millibar um, tilt real quick. And you can see there's your system right in here. I'm going to draw this out for you guys, okay? So there's your system right here in, in Oklahoma. All right, and then there's your, your, your tilt right in there. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna go northeast. All right, so it's gonna make this neutral into a negative free tilt to trough, which means the potential of severe weather will be on the table as we get towards the middle part of next week here. Okay, so let's go over to this real quick, and you can see by the time we get towards Wednesday afternoon, showers and thunderstorms all across the area as we get towards Wednesday afternoon, and in the Wednesday evening into Wednesday uh, night it starts pushing eastward towards Mississippi okay so the euro is much slower versus the GFS the euro wants to get this in during the peak daytime heating hours on Wednesday versus the GFS that wants to get this in first thing in the morning that's out here by lunch okay so GFS lower severe weather euro bigger severe threat because of that timing in the day however there will be a good amount of wind shear to work with so my uh, number one concern whenever i see these types of wind profiles you can see this is first thing wednesday morning okay and then this is wednesday afternoon across eastern arkansas when i see all these wind profiles especially like this that tells me that you will have the potential of seeing damaging winds while out of the gate Okay. then you would have to worry about the potential of tornadoes along with this as well. So just something to kind of keep in mind. We'll keep you guys updated on that. But at this moment, timing right now, we're looking from central to eastern Arkansas, Wednesday afternoon into the Wednesday evening time frame here. Okay, Let's even tip the Canadian model. Canadian model is not meant for severe weather, but it does generally have the same idea as the year. Okay. Let's go over here real quick. Let's show you guys uh, what the radar could potentially be looking like. And you can see the Canadian is even slower than the Euro. The Euro has this in central eastern Arkansas. The Canadian is even more supportive for severe weather because it doesn't have this coming through until Wednesday evening and into Wednesday night, which means we'll get a whole day of instability building in, and that's what could lead to the potential of seeing severe weather across the board here. So, Symmetra 4 timing right now looks to be Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday evening. Primary threats looks to be damaging winds, hail, a few tornadoes can be possible. And as I mentioned before, the upgrade to a to an enhanced risk could be possible depending on the time here, guys. So be sure to stay with us with updates right here in your source for all things Arkansas weather.